I've never been faced with the implication of a once in a lifetime experience. Once in a lifetime. We use this phrase to describe many things. We throw it around with the commonality of much lesser experiences, even though those situations are not truly once in a lifetime. I can't explain the way it feels. It's not what I expected. It's almost haunting. You know you can never do this again, so you want it to be unforgettable, and you, well, you want it to be epic. You start envisioning yourself conquering the mountain like a triumphant hero, and you picture yourself kneeling over an old warrior ram, revering his life and praising God for the opportunity. All these delusions of grandeur turn into stress and pressure because you don't want to fail the experience. You don't want to squander the opportunity to truly have a once in a lifetime experience. First day of sheep season, a little background about this hunt. Um, this was my 17th year, 17th year putting in for them uh, and I drew. So I've been waiting a long time. I know a guy's waiting a lot longer than me, but <sighs> something about this unit um, that maybe most people don't know, it's, it's on a military base. Uh, 90 per, over 90% of it is military base and I'm not allowed to film on the military. And I was hell bent on getting this on film because I'm just as passionate about the film as I am uh, of putting a trophy on the wall. My expectations of getting a, a absolute giant are kind of limited because of the areas that I, I, that I can hunt and film on. My goals are, are not about inches, it's about age class, um, getting it on film and doing it with the bow. The average for this unit, unit wide, even on the YPG, is like 158 and 96% um, of the kills are, or I think it's even higher than that, are with the rifle. So for me, uh, the experience is, is getting it done with a bow and being able to harvest uh, a, a decent ram in that average age group. I know there's 170s running around in here, um, but like I said, I can't hunt the whole unit. So. We'll, uh, we'll just do our best and see what we can come up with. Already got on a pretty decent ram this morning that we decided to pass up, but he was, he was younger and uh, it's the first morning. I got plenty of time, so I'm not gonna rush it. Skyline, okay. Okay. If you come from the right, okay. Before that big saddle, come from the right. Hit that first big bump. Okay. Where it's flat, 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 and then it bumps. Bumps. Okay. okay. The third bump. Over. One, two, three. Okay. Come straight down from that bump, about a quarter of the way down from the top. He's right there, laying down. Oh, they're standing up now. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, oh, that's him. Yeah, that's a big ramp. Go. Yeah. <sighs> Morning number two, last night, at last night, I, I found a good ram. And uh, I think I just picked him back up this morning. So we're gonna, we're gonna climb up to the top of this hill real quick and get a little bit closer look. We were way down here by the trucks when I, when I picked him up, so just get a little bit closer and see what he looks like.
no, they saw us and bolted. I didn't pull the trigger. Boy. Uh huh. It is, huh? I think we just found them. Or Jake just found them. Got another one with them. There's probably more around that corner too. Eli and I can sneak down this wash. Come from underneath. I just count my cuts. Cause you got one, two, three, and you're going about that thing. Yeah, because if we come from below, I mean the wind seems to be doing good right here. Assuming there's no other sheep right there, of course. But back and then cuts back towards where those sheep are feeding right now. They're kind of feeding downwards. Uh, if they get to where they where I think they're going to be we should have about a 50-60 yard shot. The wind seems pretty good as long as there's no other sheep on the way we should be good. Maybe nine. Wow, it's just a nice one. I think what resonates with me the most is that hunting sheep or hunting in general is a journey of self and that each stalk is an education to who you are and the closer you get to understanding you the closer you get to achieving your goals and as crazy as it sounds with each failed attempt comes deeper success.